Recently, I reviewed the Fire Maple Polaris Gas Canister Cooking System. Well, now I have the Fire Maple Fixstar X1 and the Fixstar X2 system I'd like to share with you. If you're interested, keep watching. Just before we begin, I'd like to thank Fire Maple for sending me the Fixstar X1 and Fixstar X2 so that I could share them with you. So what we'll do is we'll go down to the tabletop where I'll go over the key features for each of these cook systems as well as their physical and performance specifications. Also, I'll share with you my experiences with the two of them. Before we take a closer look at the Fixstar X1 and the Fixstar X2, I thought I would share once again, this is the Polaris cook system for Fire Maple that I previously reviewed. Uh, if you're interested in that review, I'll put a link to that video in the video description below, as well as at the end of this video. I'll be bringing this back in as a reference, just to give you some comparisons between the two of them, or the three of them. So let's put that aside. So the first system we're gonna look at is the Fire Maple Fixstar X1. This is the oldest gas canister cook system in their lineup and the least expensive of all the ones that they have for offerings. And let me just share with you what it came with and then we'll go on to its specifications. So it is a very simple system in that it has a plastic lid on top or some type of a synthetic material. I will tell you now that I did make a modification to it. This is just a little loop of gutted paracord on top, which just makes it a little easier to lift off while the contents are hot and the lid is hot and a little hard to grab onto. It does have a single drain hole here, which is nice. It snugs on and locks everything down when it's on top and uh, then you can take it off. Inside, a couple of things. First off, most importantly, of course, is the burner itself. So this is the actual burner that would screw onto your gas canister stove. On the bottom, it does have a gas adjustment here and a piezoelectric lighter here, which is nice. And I'll also point out that when I show you the Fixstar X2, it's exactly the same burner. Everything else is different maybe to a small degree, but exactly the same burner and it delivers exactly the same performance. And the other thing that comes with this system is a small bowl, just a nice, added touch and of course there is a stuff sack. All right now let's just take a closer look at the pot itself. So it is anodized aluminum inside and out. It does have graduated markings up the side and it is rated at a one liter capacity although that is down about an inch and a half from the top so you could get a bit more in if you wanted to but a functional safe capacity would be one full liter. It does have a neoprene sleeve on the outside and then of course it does have the heat exchanger on the bottom. The other thing that it has is photo butterfly style, butterfly style handles which have silicon tubing on the outside. Very simple construction, very reminiscent of an old school gas canister system, but still very functional, of course. The one other thing it has that I'm not quite sure its function is, there is a little sleeve sewn onto the outside, the neoprene here. Not sure what it was there for. I included, when I took it out, a spork, just one of the Light My Fire plastic sporks. Seems like a good addition. It uh, held it against the side and just kept everything in place. So I will tell you now that when you put the a burner inside uh, you cannot get an eight ounce canister of gas inside and have the lid go on top it won't quite fit as you can see it sit out on top and I tried a couple of different combinations of putting it in upside down putting this in first so on and so forth however the smaller four inch canister will go in with room to spare on top even the bowl will go in on top of that and still close on, up the lid. All right, so let me give you a full few specifications for the system. So with the stove inside of the pot and the bowl and the lid and the stuff sack, the weight of this whole system comes in at 17.6 ounces, which is 499 grams, so just over a pound. The height of this unit is 6.7 inches, which is 17 centimeters, and the diameter is 4.72 inches, which is 12 centimeters. Now, as far as performance specifications for this, the burner unit itself, let me just bring that out for a second. 
is rated at 7,500 BTUs, and my performance with this system and a gas canister stove is using fi uh, 500 mils or two cups of water. I was able to get a rolling boil in two minutes and five seconds with six grams of fuel conserve, uh, of consumed. So not bad at all. Again, I'll tell you this, it was identical for the next stove that I'm showing you, which will be the Fixstar X2. All right, so the next system we're gonna take a look at is the Fire Maple. Fixstar X2. So it's an upgraded system from the Fixstar X1 with a few more uh, nice features added to it and it is very very similar to the Polaris system and I'll bring those in to give you some comparisons and by the way there is a Fire Maple Fixstar X3 which is identical in almost every way to the Fixstar X2 except for the volume of the pot whereas this is a one liter pot the Fixstar X3 is an 800 milliliter pot so everything else would be the same it's just a smaller size so you can decide based on that so first off let me just show you what came with this system and we'll go into its performance specifications so a little different actually considerably different than the first stove I showed you this has a folding locking handle on top and it has a small bead as does does with the Polaris that you pop open keeps helps to keep the handle locked the handle folds over and locks into place and there's a, actually a, a button you press here to unlock it. The lid is clear trite material with a silicone grab knob here. It has a single vent hole here. Uh, we'll put that aside. Inside of this system it came with a gas canister stand which helps to uh, make it more stable when everything is set up. Let me just open that up to show you. So your gas canister and you've seen these before Four, either the eight ounce or the four ounce will sit on top of that on the ground. So we'll put that aside. Inside, there's a couple of more things. Easy is to turn this over and slide them out. All right, so this is the burner for the Fixstar X2. Again, identical to the burner for the Fixstar X1. In fact, you could exchange them back and forth if you wanted to. It has a little bit different gas turn knob here but it still has the piezoelectric lighter here now the one thing that is different from this system as opposed to the x1 is the inclusion of this pot stand so what this is for is for use with any other pot other than the one that came with the system so you can use this with a larger uh, uh, and even a smaller pot to that some degree as well as fry pans in order to use this a little different than some of the other systems you start by turning the the pot rests themselves inwards that's what, how it will accommodate a slightly smaller pot than uh, the one that came with it and on the bottom are hooks and you set this down over top of the outside rim of the stove. See if I can do this quickly enough to demonstrate. Okay, and then turn it where it'll mat up, match up with detents on the stove itself and then lock in place. So now you can have this and use this, as I mentioned, with fry pans or larger pots or even smaller pots, something down around 10 centimeters in size, maybe uh, even a little tiny bit smaller. All right, to unlock it, you turn it, take it off, and then you can fold these rests in for storage purposes afterwards. All right, so those are the components of the system. Let's just gather them all up in one place place and including the stuff sack and we'll go over the specifications so weight wise this system is a bit heavier coming in at 21.2 ounces which is 600 grams it's a little taller at 7.87 inches which is 20 centimeters but it's still the same diameter of 4.72 inches which is 12 centimeters it is also a one liter capacity pot and again this one has the graduated markings on on the inside for which are helpful it is anodized aluminum inside and out with the heat exchanger on the bottom and the neoprene sleeve on the outside so there's a lot similar just more of an upgrade than anything else now what I want to do is just to bring in I'll close this over without reassembling everything and then bring in the Polaris system for a side-by-side. -side. So the Polaris system, 
again, previously reviewed, is almost identical in every way in terms of its design features with a couple of exceptions. First off, it is a 1.5 liter as opposed to one liter pot, so it's a little bit larger in its capacity. But the big difference is, is the stove itself. The stove for the Polaris is the pressure regulated version. And being pressure regulated, you get, there's a lot of benefits to that in that it will maintain its pressure over the full life of the gas canister you're using it with and it will maintain pressure in cold weather something that this stove will not do as well so i point that out for a reason because when you put all of these three together side by side again let's bring this one over so i can show you the three systems side by side these are the choices that you can make. You can go for the least expensive stove to the middle size stove to the top stove in terms of price. And there is a price difference for each of them with more features for each stove as you go, or each canister system as you go. And once again, I'll point out that the gas canister or the canister stove inside of this, as you can see, here is the X1 and here is the X2. They're identical stoves and the performance is identical in terms of speed. So again, a 7,500 BTU stove for the X2. I boiled 0.5 liters, 500 mils, two cups of fuel and exactly two minute, five seconds, the same as the previous stove with exactly the same fuel consumption of six grams. So it is nice to know that you are not sacrificing any performance if you move down to the X1 or move up to the X2. So they're exactly the same. All right, just a few more comments on the Fire Maple Fixstar X1 and the Fixstar X2. So I did take each of these stove systems out into the woods to gain some experience with them. And what I found is performance-wise, they're identical, virtually identical. Again, that's contributed to there being exactly the same volume at one liter and exactly the same stove system underneath the pot itself. So they worked virtually identical. The only real difference are the creature comforts that come with the X2 just being a slightly more upgraded over the X1. And the other thing, of course, is that the X1 did not come with the gas canister stand to give it more stability. And I'd highly recommend that you purchase one for yourself. I had one in my collection I was able to include with the X1, and I'm really glad I did. Not that I had a tipping issue, but when you're on uneven ground and you've got a full pot of water or what else, uh, then it just is a bit more of a risk. It's nice to have that stability provided by the water feed of the gas canister stand. The other thing is very similar to my experience with the other pot from Fire Maple the, with the heat exchanger is that the lid itself. Now, um, it can be locked down just by press fitting it like that, but I'd recommend against doing that while you're using it and cooking in it because it can be a bit challenging to get off. So the way I use it is to lay it on loose on top. And with that little modification I made, it's a lot easier to lift off and not have to struggle with or risk burning your fingers. As far as the fold out butterfly handles go, they work just fine, just like any other pot with handles of that nature. So no real appreciable difference at all in terms of performance, just a few of the creature comforts. So going over to the X2 again, it has as so much in common with the Polaris system that they're really almost perfectly ident identical. This just being a half liter smaller in capacity, but otherwise the pot itself is identical in every way, including the handle, the lid, and all of those other things. And again, exactly the same stove operating the system. So you get exactly the same performance. The nice thing is this one did come with that gas canister stand to give you the assurance and of a little bit more stability for the whole system when it's on the forest floor. Okay. So I point all those features and uh, out to you is to help you make some decisions. You can pay a little less for the X1, but you will not be deprived in any way in performance, or you can pay a little bit more for the X2 and just get a few more creature comforts. And maybe that is a bit of a safety feature, having that uh, gas canister stand to go along with it. Of course, then again, this one doesn't come with the included pot or 
yeah, little uh, uh, bowl that came with the X1. So just a few thoughts there. Okay, that's all I have to share with you. I'll be putting all the information for these stoves in the video description below, as well as links to where you can find out more about them or purchase them if you're interested. If you have any comments or any questions on either of these systems, then please put those in the comments section below. And again, I will put a link to my review of the Polaris system at the end of this this video and in the video description below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.